guys. Sorry it's so late, but I had to get the kiddos just to bed because they have school tomorrow. And I went ahead and put a white coat on my C so y'all wouldn't have to wait and watch paint dry on that. So, hey, Sharon. So what we're gonna do tonight is I'm going to paint a buffalo plaid on my C and then, um. Hey, the pumpkins kind of look like a pumpkin. Hey, Natalie. Hey, Amanda. So, thank y'all all for joining me so late. Hey, fearless leader. Natalie, I love you to death, woman. I really do. Um, if y'all didn't catch the live today, I did go live and cut this out with y'all. So, if y'all want to check that out after this video, y'all can go down below and it should still be right up under this one. And you could be able to check that out. Let me see. Hey, Miss Teresa. Hey, Miss Sheila. Miss Kathy. Kira. Hey, ladies. So, if y'all don't mind, y'all hit. Oh, I was about to say a word I shouldn't say. Y'all sprinkle the love for me on Facebook. Um, and also, y'all, tonight's the last night to sign up for my inside scoop. Hey, Miss Dory. So, if you have been on the fence about that, might as well go ahead and take that jump and head on over there. I've got the link in the description and click it and join because we have some awesome designs. I also share the designs that we are gonna be doing in September in the last slide that I did with the cutting. So if you wanna check the, you know, that out, Ninja. <laughs> hey, Christine. Hey, Miss Betty. Hey, everybody. So I'm gonna get started because I know it is late. So I'm here to, to answer any questions that you may have about the inside scoop spread the love thank you miss sharon so i have not ever did buffalo plaid on an initial like this with it being a cutout so i'm just gonna kind of work it out and see how it's gonna do and i'm gonna try my ooh, try my best to kind of make a little mark here you know and it's not working i'm going to kind of go like this then if i have to sh straighten it out a little bit more then i can do it then and maybe kind of just cover it with my orange uh miss dory if you are not already a member you need to join trent is amazing thank you miss dory y'all are y'all are amazing i absolutely adore y'all hello from michigan you're you're so amazing. Love to watch you paint. Well, thank you, Sue. I appreciate that. I'm so glad that you're here. So, I hope the cutting video today kind of let everybody know that you don't have to go out there and buy no expensive laser cutter or a CNC machine. Um, I think I've got that piece a little bit too short. So, I hope that helped y'all out and gave you a little bit of... um. A little bit of hope with cutting because you know those things are expensive but you can cut and cut the initials and stuff out with a jigsaw without having those I'm trying to get like just my edges where my C's at so it don't get where my um where's it called where my orange is gonna be thank you miss Dory I appreciate that that's the decision I've made in joining the Inside Scoop. I have learned so much this past year. Thank you so much, Natalie. I'm so glad that, you've, that I'm teaching you something. And the ladies in there are so supportive and just really awesome. I'm just going to scoot y'all down. So if y'all have any questions, like I said, do not hesitate and go ahead and ask away. I'm going to go ahead and start taping this so we can get our buffalo plaid going gonna start with it right here and like I said I've never done the buffalo plaid on an initial like this so we're gonna try it might as well try to do something how do we join Mindy you can go to the link above in this description and it will take you to the inside scoop group page on my website and all you do is you choose the one that you would like to do and hit subscribe and 
it'll take you to the checkout page. Hey, Jesse. So yeah, I love, love, love the inside scoop. Trina is a great te teacher. Thank you, Jesse. Um, and once you get over there, like I said, there's two different options. You can do the bundle membership, which is where I actually ship you the two blank door hangers that we're doing for each month. Or you can do the red, and that one's $67, or you can do the regular membership where I provide you with the templates and you cut them yourself. I need this with an F. This story, um, someone had asked me about these and I was like, you know, okay, so I don't need another piece there. They would be so hard for me to do a template for these because there would be so many different initials. But I'm going to share with y'all in the inside scoop how to do these so I can provide y'all with the pumpkin, but then y'all will be able to do your initial yourself. Because like I said, it will be so hard for me to do it with, um, cause everybody would want a different initial. Karen, Hey, Trina, watch the replay of you cutting this out. You made it look so easy. Well, thank you, Miss Carrie. I'm so glad that you watched it. Autocorrect, sorry. I knew I, I knew you was talking to me, girl. Yeah, so if you have any questions at all, y'all, ask away now because, like I said, time is running out. It is running out for us, to, for you to be able to join, and I'm not sure when I'm going to be opening it back up. So... It's probably going to be in 2020. And if I do open it back up, it will be for a short period of time, maybe like for a 24-hour thing, or either maybe just for my subscribers who have subscribed over there on my website to receive emails. So if you haven't subscribed and you think you might want to join later on, and you want to be one of the ones that gets that special email, make sure you go over to my website at trinaculetdesigns.com and hit that subscribe button to receive emails. So, all right, that looks kind of funky. So, we're going to go with it and we're going to get it done, y'all. Let me grab me a plate. But I promise y'all, once y'all see the designs that I'm going to be posting that we do in my Inside Scoop this month, y'all are going to have nothing but regrets because y'all are going to wish that y'all had joined because we have some super duper adorable designs. Uh, I mean, they're really cute. Perfect for fall, perfect for, there's one that's perfect for really any time of the year because it's kind of farmhouse. And then our craft, OMG. It is super amazing. I'm in love with the craft that we're going to do. I'm looking for this. And then I'm going to need my black. Stacy, the template you offer, how does that work? Um, Miss Stacy, the templates are, it's a downloadable. What you do is once you purchase it, you'll be able to download the template. And you are provided with a JPEG, which is just, well, no, not a JPEG, sorry, a PDF, which is just the image of the, the door hanger. And then what you, you also get a block poster, which will, um, maybe, maybe it wasn't a PDF, maybe it's a JPEG. I think it is a JPEG. You will get a JPEG of the image, so you will be able to resize it in block poster if you needed to. And you also get a one already in block poster for you so all you have to do is actually just um just print it out and they of course you know you print out and it's gonna be a regular like printing paper and you just piece it together like you would a puzzle it's super neat y'all block poster is really a cool thing to do to get to know and learn how to to do it when you're doing door hangers it makes it so easy well hey patricia this is your first time here. Welcome. All right. So I got some gray and this is dolphin gray. And I'm going to go over these lines real quick with some of this gray. I'm going to do this in kind of a distressed kind of look. I don't want it completely covered. So 
Um, and this is a light gray. It's not dark at all. And I'm just going to go over where my tape is at. This is a very light gray. I may have to do it, go over it twice. Yep, JPEG and a PDF template from Blockposter. Thank you, Christine. Well, hello, Brittany. Hey, Lindsay. All right, we're just getting the gray on here. This, I think this is, if this is, turns out the way I have in my head, this is gonna be really cute. And that's a C for Culic. What is Block Poster? If that a setting or a program? Uh, it is just, you can go to Google and type in blockposter.com. It's just a website. Uh, you don't have to download it or anything to use it. And you, it's, gosh, how can I explain it? It's for people like to make posters with that want, that needs to kind of be big, but it's perfect to do for door hangers because of the sizing. And you get like choose your size and kind of mess with the settings in block poster to, um, to get the size that you need. So yeah, it's definitely worth checking out and planning around with if you haven't never done it and you do block, I mean, you do door hangers, it is awesome. Hey, South Carolina friend. Well, hey, Julie. Well, good evening, Barb. It's a website where you take JPEG images and turn them into templates to print out. Christine, I love you. I love you. When my tongue gets twisted and my words don't come out, you know exactly <laughs> how to help a girl out. Christine, y'all, if y'all see Christine Smith popping through and helping, she is my VA. So, she is my lifesaver. I always brag on Christine because I'm just lost without her. I don't know what I would do without Christine. So, if you ever need a VA, Christine will be your girl. I absolutely adore her. Adore her. All right, I'm just kind of going over my gray because, like I said, it is really, really light. So, I think I want to make it a little bit more darker. Because I am going to go in with a black. I'm thinking, I don't know, do I want to do a black? I think I do. I want to do black. I want to do black because black's always the the perfect buffalo plaid colors together. Okay, so there we go. We got a gray going on. Hey, Tiny, how many times a week do you meet? What time do you meet? Uh, Sue, uh, why do your name, your last name, Livington, Sounds so familiar. Do you sell the finished products? Patricia, most, most of the time I do not. I do not. Sometimes I do, but um, a lot of times I like them so much till I kind of want to keep them myself. <laughs> Christine, I got your back, girl. Thank you, Christine. Uh, hey, Tiny. So, Sue, we do, um, we do two tutorials a month with painting. I'm going to keep this so maybe I can use it again, or I doubt if I can, with painting, and then we do a live for our craft together, and we do a live, we have like two lives planned, a Zoom call, where we like actually all come up on the screen, for those that wants to, come up on the screen together and we practice our hand lettering, we're, we're doing that twice this month, and then um, I have a live Q&A my tape's coming off to where I come live in the group to where you can ask your questions and they're kind of they're on different times a lot of times I will like plan a lot of it to do during the morning times for when my kids are at school and um some of this is dry some of it's not but I'm gonna go ahead and start taping it because I'm gonna kind of antique this out anyway so the time kind of like I said most of it's done in the morning times but everything's posted in the group and on the website. So if you're not able to catch the live, you're always able to go and watch the replay. I watch you all the time since I found your site. Oh, well, Sue, that might be why your name's just sounding your last, I don't know, it's just your last name, I think. 
Your last name sounding, I don't know. All right, I'm gonna do that same thing through going up and down or down on this, on the C to get the black on here. I'm sure y'all seen several people doing the, the buffalo plaid with the tape. Thank you for the cutting video, so helpful. You're welcome, Kim. I'm so glad that you found it to be helpful. All right, I'm gonna try to speed up because I know y'all don't wanna sit on here for it till one o'clock with me tonight. So I may need to bring this down just to see. Huh, that was a good idea to bring it down either. It definitely wouldn't have been, wouldn't have been level where it needed to be. Hey, from Wilmington, North Carolina, taking a break from hurricane preparation. Oh, yes, I bet you are. Oh, I'm so hoping that thing goes back out to see it makes that turn like they're predicting it to be, and it's not going to be nearly as bad as what they were thinking at first. What size is the pumpkin? Tiny, tiny, tiny. You know what? I will have to let you know later because my tape measure is outside in my building. And that is the only thing I've got to measure it with. So I'll have to let you know, Tony, but I'm pretty sure it's round, um, at least 24 inches, 22 to 24 inches wide. I'm not sure on the height, but the height is, it's kind of, I mean, it's not no itty bitty little thing. So the height's probably a good 20 inches, 22 inches. Yeah. So it's, it's kind of big. All right. We are about to finish up putting the tape. This is like the most boringest part of doing buffalo plaid. When you're doing the tape is getting the tape down there and getting it right. Okay. So we're gonna make sure, and I'm going to, did I do that right? I think I did. I'm going to kind of brush this black on here real lightly. Beth, hope everything is okay and your family is safe. God be with you. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Um, Where did I, where? I was looking for my paintbrush, y'all. I'm sitting here. All right, I'm getting my black gonna dab that off a good bit and I'm gonna easily just brush it and I am not gonna try to cover this up completely at all very lightly yes I hope everybody stays safe of that hurricane because it is that is one strong storm. I was a little bit scared, but I think we're okay, but I'm not gonna talk too much because it could easily make a turn and head this way, and uh, I'm just praying and hoping it don't because I sure don't want, want it to come here. Don't want it to go to North Carolina either or Georgia or Florida, so. I think it's already did enough damage in the Bahamas to be satisfied, so it needs to kind of just go on and leave everybody home. Where do I go to place an order? Lindsay, unfortunately, I am not, I don't take orders anymore. The only thing I do now is kind of focus on my teaching and my inside scoop. So, I'm so sorry. But if I still took orders, I would have definitely made you one, girl. Where are you located? Well, I'm in South Carolina. Ooh, I think I just got some on the edge there. And if y'all can see, y'all can still see a lot of the white coming through my black here. And I've got it, you know, more heavier in some spots. But that's all I'm going to do. I'm not going to 
while I got that out there, I may take a little bit of gold. Let me see. You know what? I'll wait because I think I'm going to do the whole thing and take it up with some gold. Hey, Jordan. I know, Lindsay. I'm so sorry. All right. So, let's pull this up. Huh. Okay. I'm not being... Not exactly crazy over the way that's turned out. But let's see. Let's see. Let's get it painted and see how it does. Because right now I'm not not too crazy over it. Let me get it off and kind of like hold it up and kind of see how it's going to look. I'm going to have to get brave enough to cut those letters. Renee, yes, try it. You've got to try it. All right, so here's the buffalo plaid so far in the initial C. What I'm not liking, I think, and what's throwing me off is probably all of this gray straight down on this C. So, and there's no way to really fix that because, you know, that's the, the width and stuff apart from each one. Love it. Well, thank you. Thank y'all so much. So, I'm going to, I guess, you know, I don't know. I think I may come, and I'm going to, let me see, what can I do? I'm going to put a, a darker black line right down beside that, um, that gray, and maybe that'll kind of help it. So let's see, we're gonna go from this gray, I meant from this black, and we're gonna do a little black line here, and here, and here, and here. Then we're gonna come here, and we're gonna do this little black line there. All right, and then here, 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 here. Okay, let's see, then this black line, we're going to do it there. And these, this is very, very tiny little black lines. Okay. So then I'm going to take it and I'm going to go this way. Do you sell the cutouts? Put, uh, Patricia, I have to look. I may have took them off the website. Outlined it? Yes, I'm going to outline like around this part, just on the tips. So I am going to do that. Okay, so, let's see, here's a gray, so let's go on this side of the gray, this side of the gray, all right, and let's do this side of the gray, then we're going to do this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, okay, so this kind of gave it a Buffalo plaid, but kind of like a different kind of plaid look. Do y'all see how that turned out? I do like that a lot better. Hey, Miss Diane, you took the initial off the site. I did? Okay. So, no, ma'am, Patricia. As of right now, I'm not selling the, the templates. So, I am going to do uh, like the black outline going around the C here, but I'm going to do that after I paint painting orange so I know exactly where I need to put it. Alright, so I'm going to start painting orange now. Let me get a kind of a big brush. Let me find you kind of a big brush to use because this is a good size door hanger. So let's get this one. I like that better too. Oh, you do, Jesse. We're good. Much better. Love it. Thank you, Vanessa. I like that with the tiny lines added. Breaks it up. Yes, thank you, Miss Kathy. Yes, I, I agree, um, JC. It does. It kind of just breaks it up and just adds a little bit. Which is, you know, and I did the same like we did when we did our um, our sign in the group. Except I did, you know, we did it with the gray. So, yeah. I think it always, like, kind of breaks up that um, buffalo plaid. All right, let's go in with some orange. and get a pumpkin going on. I'm going to... Use some pumpkin spice. I'm 
Minka Red because we're gonna do a little bit of shading. Great fix, excited to see you antique it with gold. I'm excited about that too. I hope it turns out good. That looks much better. Thank you, Sher Sherelle. Are you going to use any shading? Tiny, I am gonna do a little bit of shading with the orange to kind of bring out the sections of this pumpkin. So, we're gonna get some pumpkin, Spice Pumpkin by Deca Art in the orange. Yep, in the orange. And then we're gonna use some Flamenco Red and some Canyon Orange. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this Canyon Orange where you get the template for the letters. Vanessa, um, uh, Font Bros. It's font then B-R-O-S. I use their site a lot when it comes to initials. So, um, you can do like some test drives. They have like a little thing that's called test drive on their website to where you can kind of do your initial and see how it looks. But that's where I get it. But there's, um, there's a lot of other places that you can get. Did I use the right one? Or did I use the Spice Pumpkin? I don't know if I used the orange. Okay, I think I used the can, the can in orange. I'm loving it. Buffalo Plaid is the best. Mary Buffalo Plaid is like so trendy right now but with this particular one i think i actually added i'm adding i'm looking at my paint and trying to talk i think i actually just printed out a sheet of um of the vine initials and then i used my projector to do like the C itself. All right, so I've got me some of that. I got the Canon Orange and then I mixed some Flamenco Red up to give me a real dark, well, kind of a darker orange. And I'm gonna come and get right here, just where my edge is gonna be on this. Just like that. And I am gonna go ahead up here and, and get my edges real quick with this color. This is a really bright color. It's a red tone and it's kind of orange. So I'm not quite sure what those two colors make, but it, it's a really pretty color. 101.com okay so someone um miss tiny says you can go to font101.com i'm having to stand up for this y'all because this is a this is a big little a big pumpkin all right so now i'm going to come and i'm going to add just my spice pumpkin we're going to kind of Blend it all in right here. Just to kind of give it a little bit more going on. My projector fell apart. <laughs> the black lens part came out of the white body. I haven't taken the time to try to fix it. Oh no, Natalie, well that definitely ain't good. Definitely ain't a good thing, girl. All right, I'm gonna take that red. I'm gonna just call it red while we're doing this live, y'all. And I'm about out of, I'm gonna have to mix some more up. This is a little bit different trying to do some shading because of the shape of it and then the inside being cut out. I've got to make me a little bit more of that. Burnt orange, yeah, it does kind of look like a burnt orange. There you go, a burnt orange. Ooh, and this might be more than a burnt orange. This may wind up being a red because I showed sure it mix a lot of red into that. Okay, no, it's gonna be okay. 
I think. We'll see. Mm, that kind of gave it a more red tone than I wanted. But that's okay. We're fixing to add some orange to it to kind of get that all blended in. Do you use a float medium to keep your paint flowing? Uh, sometimes I do, but I'm not right now. I've got my paint going on so, and I just got orange right there when I didn't want to get orange right there. Kind of thick till it's still kind of, it's gliding on there pretty good for me, so. I got a little bit too much of that orange on my white, so I'm just gonna try to get some of that off. Okay. A lot of times, I will also use just some water and put a little bit of water on my brush, and then um, it helps kind of smooth my paint out as well. Hey, Denise. See, like, up here on the top, it's, it's kind of doing some drying when it don't need to be dried yet. So, instead of, like, using the floating medium, you know, I can dip it in a little bit of water. And then kind of, that water kind of help blend it in a little bit more. All right, so in my other pumpkins that I've made like this, I've actually kept the stem. What kind of wood do you use? Mm -hmm. This is a half inch birch. And I didn't even get the top here, so let me get the top right here real quick. Um, I've actually painted the stem orange as well. It did not worry about painting it like brown or anything. But I may paint it brown. Or, I got something white there. Or I may actually just try to keep it going in, like with the oranges. I don't know yet. We'll get this done and we'll see. We'll see how it's going to turn out. All right, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to start on this one. And yes, I am doing this kind of messy. Because with shading, you do not have to be all, like, you don't have to, like, get it perfect the first time. Just kind of slap it on there is the way I've been doing it. It's the way I've been learning how to do it. I'm late. Hello. Well, hey, Dawn, you're good to go. Looks great. Thank you, Debbie. Oh, it's so cute. Thank you, Gabby. Love the buffalo plaid out of camera. Thank you, um, Christine. I think I'm back in. But I've learned, you know, when you're like me and you're new with learning how to do a lot of the shading and blending, kind of just start off and don't worry too much about it and just keep on doing it and blending it until you get, kind of get it the way you look. And that way you kind of learn more about the whole shading. Make sure I'm getting the spice carrot. And it makes it a whole lot more enjoyable and less stressful. Because so far it's worked out pretty good for me and everything's, you know, pretty much turned out the way I've like had it in my head when it comes to my shading. Or blending, I'm not quite sure what you would call it. Shading, blending. See, now I have this here, and I'm not quite sure um, exactly. I guess I just do a little bit of the red down here at the bottom and then blend it up to the top. Let me go ahead and get my edges before I forget. But yeah, when you're just learning how to shade and blend, you just play with the colors and just kind of 
mix it and it's gonna look kind of sloppy at first and just keep on blending and shading until you kind of get that look that you're going for. And I just splash paint everywhere. I'm really be a messy tonight. I guess because I don't want to keep y'all on here until a 12 or one o'clock. Okay. Let me get the top on this one. So what do y'all think about the stem? Should I do it brown or just go ahead and do it orange too? I'm thinking maybe brown because of the whole shading and stuff that's going on. Out of camera again? Lord knows y'all, I'm so sorry. So sorry. I did the one stroke painting for years. Now I make four, four arrangements. Oh, yay, Patricia. Yes, brown, I like brown stem. Brown, 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 brown. I'll say brown. All right, we're gonna go with brown. Everybody is agreeing with brown. So we will try to get some brown on here. See, like this is not blending too good. It's kind of like getting stuck, but that's because I've, it's drying on me. Black stem to go with the buffalo plaid. Hmm. How would the antique gold look for the stem? That, oh, yeah. How about the antique gold for the stem, like Miss Debbie said? That may, you may be on to something there, Miss Debbie. Okay, I'm just trying to get my edges here. I would do black stem. I'm not crazy about black and brown together. Black buffalo plaid. Mm, black buffalo plaid. Okay, I may come back and kind of finish up getting the um my edge is a little bit better I need I think I'm gonna need to add a little bit more of that red color down there on the bottom I'm still in the camera around antique gold might look great antique gold Oh, good idea, David, with the gold. Yeah, I'm thinking the, the gold would be pretty, especially since we're going to kind of put the gold antique. And what I mean, like, by doing that is I'm just going to get, like, an old brush, kind of like the old chip brush I have, and just kind of um, dry brush it on here. That's what I'm thinking about doing. So, let's see. Yeah, I'm just gonna come right here, put that dark orange. Now I wanna get some of that dark dark orange off. And now I'm gonna do some more blending with my light color. Just to get it blended a little bit more. So does anybody have any questions about my inside scoop, exactly how it works, what you will receive? Um because like I said, tonight, y'all, is the last night to sign up. Oh, yeah, the gold would be great. You're awesome. Thank you, Patricia. Gold, brown with antique gold on top. That also sounds pretty good. The brown with the antique gold on top. And this brush is kind of big to be doing the edges with. I should get a smaller brush. So like I said, if I'm going to kind of hit them now, I'm probably going to have to come and do some touch-ups later, maybe tomorrow. All right. So, this is it. See, like, right there, y'all? I'm not going to leave that there. But this brush, it is too big. So, this is it so far. Ooh, 
I'm going to get it on my yellow shirt. How much is your group? Thank you, um, Christine. So it's $67 for the bundle membership. And what you receive for the bundle membership is that's where I will actually ship you the two door hangers that we're doing that month. And then just the regular membership for the inside scoop is $37, which is awesome for what you get in the group. That's where you'll be um, cutting your own templates out. And you get two templates a month. We also do a craft each month together, which is super, super fun. There's times where I actually enjoy the craft more than the door hangers. But um, then we have a live Q&A, and you will be in a Facebook group here on, in, or you have, we, I have a Facebook group for it that you'll be part of. So you have your own little community of other ladies that's in there learning and painting along with you. So that makes it really super fun. I think I'm gonna get some King's Gold real quick and try to blend this in. No, let's do, let's do the apricot. Brown with gold. I'm just gonna get a little bit lighter color and do a little bit of blending on the inside of these sections. Just like this. Ooh. So it is an awesome, um, an awesome group of ladies to be a part part of. I'm in there with you a lot. I show you step by step on how to do, how to get your door hangers painted. Um, putting a little bit of water on here to kind of help me blend this in. And I also give you a tutorial on, you know, to cut out each door hanger. So if you're going to be one of those that actually cuts them out yourself, you can have that to look on and kind of go by. And then we do, like I said, our live Q&A, which is where you can come and ask questions with me each month. And then, this is it so far. So it's just, it's a great, great group. I actually, I love it to death. You also get a discount with purchasing from her shop. Dory, you are so right. I always forget to say anything about that. So yeah, I do give my insiders a coupon to use to get 20% off anytime they order anything off the website, like templates or, you know, anything like that. I am going to blend some of this darker red, kind of like on the edges and stuff. So... You do get that, and uh, there's so much you get. We, like I said, we do a, a Zoom call. This is new that we've started doing, and where we're all together, those that wants to join, and we can, we come together and we do some hand lettering practice, where we actually see each other on the screen. So it is really fun. I have enjoyed that a lot. All right, I'm coming back with this orange here. I've got to get a little bit of water going on here just so I can do a little bit more better blending because it is dried and it's not smoothing on there quite as good. So there we go. That That is helping. It's dry down here too. Sorry y'all, I'm having to stand up to kind of get this going on. Get a little bit more water here. Okay, so that's it so far on that side. Hey, Miss Marie, Sharon, for the 67, do you get the finished products? Uh, no, Sharon, for $67, I ship you the wooden cutouts that we're going to do that month. So then all you have to do is watch the tutorials and paint them yourself. So it is, um, I can see my white really good around, around my initial. So I've got to do something with that. I hope that answered you. 
So if you don't cut out, join the 67. That's right, now. So if you don't want to cut out, then the 67 will be perfect for you. And with the 67, whether or not, I mean, so I'm gonna kind of like do the math for you. I mean, that's getting your blank cutouts for only $10 a piece. So it's a really good deal. And then, you know, it, then it adds up to be $10 shipping. And then of course the $37 for the actual membership. So you're getting a discount when you get that for your blank cutouts. Because when I actually sell my blank cutouts, they are anywhere between $12 and $15. So you're, that's actually a good price for that. I'm having to go over where my white's at because it's kind of bleeding through my orange. Love this. Now that's talent, being able to paint the buffalo. <laughs> well, thank you, Faith. I actually cheated. Well, not cheated, just did it smart and used a painter's tape. The buffalo check on that skinny letter. You go, girl. <laughs> thank you, Betty. Thank you, Natalie. Thank you, Miss Faith. And the supply list for the crafts. Did I miss something? Dory. We also get a paint and supply list with each door hanger. Yes, that is right. So yes, y'all see, there's so much, y'all. Um, if you're really, you're thinking about it, go ahead and join, because like I said, you're not, I'm not gonna hold you in there forever. You can cancel anytime you want to, but I hope once you get in there, you're like, ugh, I don't wanna leave. All right, so this is it so far, y'all. Looking pretty good. I'm gonna stop with it there. Now let's do the the um the stem. Working smarter, not harder. There you go, tiny. That's right. You make that look so easy. Love it. Thank you, Barbara. When does enrollment close tonight? Tonight is the last night to join. Going to pull the trigger and join. When Natalie Renee, that is awesome. I will be so glad to have you join. When is the deadline to join? Miss Marie, it is tonight. Tonight is the last night. I just got, I just got, so please go over once again to join basic learning classes is how much per month. I don't know, Miss Faith, you're totally fine. Um, but Inside Scoop, it is $37 a month. That's for the basic group. And you will receive two templates to print out. I provide you with a, block poster PDF to where all you have to do is print it out. And then I give you a, we do a tutorial on each door hanger and painting it. And then I also give you a tutorial on me cutting it. So you kind of get the ins and the outs of cutting each design on like, what's the easiest way to get the, you know, each design cut out with a jigsaw. Then we do a live Q and A and we do a craft each month. And let's see, you know, you get a 20% off discount when you join. As being an insider, you would get a 20% off discount when you order anything off the website, like any extra templates. I actually, how many lives a week? Uh, we do, well, you get a cutting tutorial, which is pre-recorded. Then you get one live for each template which so will be two lives. Then we do the live Q and A. So you automatically get three live Q and A's, I mean three lives. And then we have two nights scheduled for September to do a Zoom call together to where we all be on the screen together and just practice hand lettering. So that's three, four, five lives going on in September. And I keep on bouncing in if I find something interesting that I think the ladies would enjoy or learn something new, I'll pop in and just kind of teach them what I, you know, say, hey, y'all check this out, you know, so, you know, I, we're, you, there's a, I'm in there a good bit. Want to learn how to paint so I can make my own wreath signs. Natalie, we did, I showed them this month, we did a wreath attachment. That was something that I wanted to add in August, just so everybody can see that if you don't want to do door hangers, even if you're a wreath maker, you can use the stuff that I provide you in the inside scoop to make your own wreath attachments. 
And just in case you haven't seen it, I'll show it to you real quick. The one that we did. So this is the wreath attachment that I taught this month and showed them how to actually get your floral arrangement and stuff going on in a grapevine wreath and then paint and add your attachment to your wreath. So this was in the August um, tutorials and stuff. This was really fun. I saw that loved. Well, thank you, Natalie. Yeah, oh, the craft, darn. Did I not say anything about the craft? So we do a live doing our craft each month. Yeah, so I mean, you get a lot. That's why I said $37 a month is well worth it because you get so much. So it, it's, you know, I just, like I said, if you're thinking about it, hey, Brittany, if you're thinking about it, you definitely need to go ahead and join because you won't regret it. Not if you're, not if you're ready to get in somewhere and learn and um, just go at it. All right, so I'm going to put brown on here. Then we're going to kind of put a lot of gold on it. So how about that? Okay, so Christine just made a list of all the lives that we do. Cutting tutorial, pre-recorded, two painting lives, for one for each door hanger, a live Q&A, a craft tutorial, and any hand lettering practice. So it varies from month to month. Yep. I just joined and have loved, loved going and watching the cutting tutorials. What, that's awesome, doll. I'm so glad to hear that you're um, that you're watching them. I'm going to I'm going out to sign up for the 37. I may go up to the higher price after the time goes on. Awesome, Faith. I'm so excited. Birthday gift for myself. There you go, Natalie. There you go. Yes, and it'll be so worth it. I promise you. All right. Let me get. I'm gonna save my towel, but I don't even see it nowhere. I gotta go to bed, work tomorrow. I will catch the replay. Good, good night, Miss Story. Christy just joined. Awesome, yay! Well, welcome to the Inside Scoop group. My goodness, your eyes are beautiful. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate that. All right, so, so Natalie says good night, Dory. Christine says, good night, Dory. Dory is part of my inside scoop. So a lot of these ladies that say good night, Dory, you know, they they all see each other in the inside scoop. I have learned some stuff, so thank you. You're welcome, Dom. Okay, let's get some brown on this stem, because like I said, I don't want to keep y'all in here till one o'clock tonight. And then I'm going to add a ton of gold on it. And if we don't like it, we can always paint over it. So let's get some brown. I'm going to do a very dark brown. How about that? Faith, I, I am in. Sign up just now. Awesome, Faith. Well, thank you. I have learned some stuff. Oh, I done read that one. Dawn. So excited. Yay, Christy. All right, so I'm going to get some brown. This is the darkest that I have. It's that brown oxide. I'm going to add some black to it so we can make it kind of dark. Uh, welcome, new ladies. You won't regret joining our crazy crafty crew. We are kind of crazy, ain't we, Natalie? I enjoy it. I really do. And that's one reason I quit like taking custom orders because I have just really enjoyed my inside scoop. And I could just... I just try to kind of take up all my time just trying to decide and create things for in there. And not to mention, I also keep on giving my, my ladies some new, I meant some free templates. Wow, that did not, that color didn't turn out too, too good. I'm not liking that color at all. It's a good kind of crazy. There you go. That's right. It's a good kind of crazy. Okay. Well, I don't know. Let me get some of that color out. And let me add some more of that brown because I put a, I think I put a little bit too much black in there and it kind of went crazy on me. Let me see. 
no, that brown, I don't like that brown. That brown oxide, let me get some of this brown. Well, that brown bout looks the same color. Y'all give me a minute. I'm sorry if I'm missing any of your comments. Let me try to get this, get a brown going on here that looks somewhat decent. All right, I think that's gonna do it. So this is gonna be a brown, but it's not like a brown brown. I think I can use your tricks to make reef signs even more unique and be different. Yeah, absolutely, Miss Faith. Absolutely. Have you heard the song, Beautiful Crazy? It's a country song, Tissue Alert. I think I, you know what? You're going to have me getting off of here and um, searching that song. But I think I, I think I have. But I will. I'll get off here and I'll be, I'll look that song up. So sweet. Thank you. Just joined. Yay, that's awesome, Mindy. I'm so super glad that you joined. All right, so I'm going to come in with this is a really dark brown that i just mixed so i can't really tell you what color it is but i used the black and the brown oxide and um the anita's earth brown to mix together and made this like real dark brown color and then i'm going to come and Put the gold in on top of this brown. So for those of you that just joined, make sure that you come and you um, request to be in the Facebook group here. And I will get you approved just as soon as I see your request. And if you happen to do it later on tonight, if I don't get you approved tonight, I will get you approved first thing in the morning as soon as I get up and get the kids off to school. So I'm so excited. Y'all have made my night. Y'all have been awesome tonight. Thank you so much. But I promise you, you're going to have fun. You're going to learn something. I give all kind of different little nuggets throughout the month that would help you ride on and on with your painting. So, all right, what are y'all thinking about that color brown? It's a really dark brown. It's so sweet. My husband, my husband said the, the writer must know me. Oh, that's so sweet of your husband to say because one line is how... She's never on time and wears her heart on her sleeve. Oh, goodness. Brand new to door hangers. Your video with the jigsaw today really inspired me. I went out and cut for three hours. I want to cut like you someday. Oh, Gina. Well, I'm so glad that it inspired you and you went out there and you cut. Just don't ever give up because, like I said, I didn't do this the first time I tried. The second time I tried, it took me months y'all to be able to, to cut something like this but if you keep on you will be able to cut it just just you will be able to cut it just like this i promise natalie renee said just join awesome i think it will look good with a with the gold over it okay karen i think that's what we're gonna i think that's what i'm gonna do all right i'm going to thank let me see do I want to just kind of do it like this or do I want to kind of just bring it down and do it kind of sloppy like this? But y'all know what? We're stressing over this, over this with the stem. And I really do think I'm going to probably have a bow here. <laughs> Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to look that song up. I think I've heard it before, but just to be sure, I'm definitely going to, I'm going to look it up and see. And who was that that, was that, um, Gina, Gina Gray. My inside scoop would probably be something that you would enjoy. Cause like I said, I do some the cutting tutorials each month with um, each design that we have. 
So it's very helpful when it comes to trying to figure out which cuts, like which angles you need to come in from when you're cutting each design out. So if you have not joined, um, tonight is last night, but really I would love for you to kind of consider it because you sound like you are one of those people that's a go-getter. I have a few, I have, goodness, more than a few of those ladies in my group. And um, I would love to be able to teach you and watch you grow and see the different things that you do. Okay, so here's the brown. So, what do y'all think so far with just the brown? Like I said, it's a dark brown. Buffalo plaid bow would look awesome. Raphael bow. Oh, girl, fate. I love some Raphael. I have cut the word fate before, so surely I can cut one similar to this. Renee, yes. You probably can, and I would love to see it when you try it. If you have any questions while you're doing it, message me, and I'll be glad to help you in any way that I can. I think what made me choose this group is you keep it real. Oh, and you are professional yet have a good sense of humor. Well, thank you, Faith. All right, I'm trying just to go through the questions to make sure I'm not missing. I have, okay, I'll read that one. So, Renee, yes, please show me, um, if you have any questions while you're cutting it, let me know. Buffalo plaid bow would look awesome. I read that one. Yes, it would. Hey, Miss April. How do we join your Facebook page you just talked about? I joined your group. Oh, Sue, so did you? Awesome. Uh, tell you what. When I get out, you know what? If you go up at the top of my page, um, where it says, like, photos and videos and stuff like that, you will see a little tab that also says um, community. If you click on community and kind of scroll down a little bit, it'll have, like, the groups that is owned by Trinity Clute Designs. And you should see the inside scoop. But I will send you, send you, I thought you would get a message or an email after joining to actually join the inside scoop. But um, I'll post a link in on this live when I get off here for you to join. I would love to join. How do I do it? Gina, um, you can go to the top of the this live in the description, I have a link there, and all you have to do is click that link, and it'll take you to my Inside Scoop page over on my website. And once you do that, you can subscribe. I have two different ones. One's for a bundle membership, um, but you do your cutting, so you do not need to do the bundle membership, and you can do the regular membership for $37. So just hit that subscribe button, and it'll send you to the checkout page, and you'll be good to go. Then you can come back and request to join the Inside Scoop group here on Facebook, and I will get you approved. I would be so happy to have you join because I would love to see you cut more. Uh, we'd love to join your Facebook page. Uh, Patricia, I would love for you to join too, but it is a private Facebook group for paying um, members for the Inside Scoop. So, if you have joined the Inside Scoop, then you would definitely be part of that Facebook page group. All you have to do is send the request, and I will share a link, if Christine hasn't already, um, for you to be able to join. So, it's set up easy to register. Just click link in the heading on this video. Thank you, Miss Faith. All right, so there's the brown. Now, I'm going to come... My paint's still kind of wet. And I'm going to add some gold. This is not going to be like a bright, bright gold. This is the Deco Art Metallics. And this is the, what color is this? The Antique Bronze. You're welcome, Patricia. <clears throat> All right, so yeah, I have some buffalo plaid ribbon too. I got some cute buffalo plaid ribbon. Let me show y'all real quick. Let me show y'all real quick. This is some ribbon that I found at Hobby Lobby and I thought it was super, super cute. But it's like the burlap, it's really like canvas. Then it has the buffalo plaid just on the edges. How cute is that? And that just screams farmhouse. Then, I got just a regular buffalo plaid. 
So mixing those together, that would be really, really pretty, y'all. Really pretty. All right, so let us get this started so we can get this finished. And I'm going to use, I need another plate. Buffalo plaid, buffalo iraffia bow. Yes, that sound, yeah. I'll definitely be adding some raffia because I love raffia. Mm. Courtney Harmon, do it, do it, do it. $37 a month. It's a good way to invest in your business. That is, yes, definitely. That is so right, Miss Faith. I have not even brought that to your attention. So, yes, if you are want to start a business or if you have already started a business but you're you know just need a little bit of help or you want that community to kind of make you feel like you're not by yourself then joining my inside scoop is a really good business investment for you so y'all see this gold where's the last day to sign up heather today is the last day honey Today is the last day, and that's why I'm trying to stress it so bad. I want everybody to join because today is the last day, and I'm not sure if I'm going to reopen um, any more this year. It may be back, may not reopen until 2020. So, you know, I don't want nobody to miss out at all. I do want to take my paintbrush here and put a little bit of the brown lines in where I'm shading at. Raffia is a must for the bow. Yeah, and raffia is awesome when it comes to fall. I love using raffia during the fall. Hey, Miss Jean. Miss Jean is an insider. All right, so I'm going to put a little bit of this brown, which is going to be the same brown that we mi mixed on the top. Or do I want to do that? Nope. Oh, do I want to do that? Do I want to put brown here, y'all? Let's see. What if I just do just a little bit? Like just a tiny bit. Not enough to really... I know somebody was saying they didn't like black with brown, so I don't want to put too much brown going on. I'm excited. I'm joining right now. Yay! I had to not miss the Christmas pieces. Oh, that's right. That's right. If you want to um, be in the group during Christmas time, you may want to. You may want to join now because can I play? Can I pay through Cash App? Heather, I'm not sure what Cash App is. Um, I know, I know, I do. It does, it does take like payments through PayPal. So, and I'm not familiar for with Cash Apps. Um, all I can say is you could go over and try it and see if it works. Gold mix with apricot for stem. Gold mix with apricot. Trying to kind of picture or really um, get what you're you're saying. What do you like the apricot gold mix for apricot on the stem? Doing a happy dance. I just joined. Yay, Gina! I'm so glad that you joined. Okay, so Heather, my um, virtual assistant Christine says PayPal is the only option available for payments. So I'm so sorry, but PayPal is super easy. Trina's group is great. Guys, if you're on the fence about joining, get off that fence. You will regret it. Thank you so much, Miss Jean. I just didn't want to have to go to the bank this late. Oh, Heather, I'm so sorry. Okay. So, who was it that was saying something about apricot? Was it Natalie? Natalie, what do you mean gold mix with apricot for the stem? Because I got the stem brown. So what do you mean with doing the um the apricot? Gina, I'm so happy. 
when you told me about the cutting and you spent three hours cutting, you just, oh goodness. I'm so glad that you joined. I'm so glad I'm in if I'll not watch but one other time, but your work amazed me. By Christmas, I'll probably be wanting to be in the 67. Well, Miss Faith, when you're getting ready to switch out, just you can message me and I could definitely get you straight. Okay, so Gina says you can use a debit or credit card as well. So you can use your debit or credit card, but um, so I don't know, tr like I just said, just try it and see if it goes through, then, you know, I can't see. What is the main biggest difference between the $37 group and the $67 group? Faith, the $67 is where I will actually send you the wooden cutout. Um, I will ship it to you. So you still you're still paid the $37 for actually being a member, and then you're paying $10 a piece for each of your cutouts, and then $10 shipping. So you're actually you're getting a discount on your cutouts because usually my cutouts are um, $12 to $15. And then you also get a little bit of discount on the shipping rates too, so. So you're still paying $37 a month to be the member, to be a member, and the extra cost is just for the actual door hangers that's being shipped to you. Just checked, it's still through PayPal though. Okay, well Gina, I know you can, I know you can check out through PayPal and don't have to have a PayPal account. You are able, because once you, once it takes you to the checkout page, it asks you if you want to check out like through PayPal or use, I know it says or debit or credit card. So it, like I said, it's still like going through PayPal, but you can use a debit or credit card to pay. Yes, that yes, Miss Jean. Thank you. So you can go through PayPal as a guest. Okay, yeah, because Miss Gina says she used her her debit card. Okay. All right. So I'm going to take. I joined earlier, but when I logged in, it said I was awaiting approval from you. Okay, Margie, I. I haven't seen, um, I haven't got a notification of where you joined, so I would check into that and, and see, and if you're, if I received the email saying that you joined, then, um, if you've asked to join Inside Scoop, I would get you in there ASAP, so, but like I said, I haven't seen, if, did you use a different name, Miss Margie, because I'm pretty sure I haven't seen Margie. Christine, have I sent you, um, a thing from Mergy that she joined. Okay, I'm gonna go in, I'm just gonna go ahead and add my gold. So I'm using this, um, this is kind of like a, a chip brush, so it's just short and kind of chunky. I'm gonna dip it, and this is very dry. There's no water on here. It's kind of crusty with old black paint. I'm gonna get most of it off. Y'all see how rough it sounds? Yes, Natalie, um, what, I, I was trying to kind of figure out what do you mean. So what do you want me to do with the apricot? So like with this, I know you said like to put it on the stem with the gold. So kind of like do a dry brush with the apricot and then like the gold on top of it, like on top of the brown because I've already put the brown on there. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna go over this whole thing, even my initial with this gold. Can y'all see that? This gold has like a really, has like a, a shine, a spark to it.
I'm gonna put a little bit more over here on this side. And I'm going to, now I know we had an issue when I bought the deer pattern and I had signed up, signed in at that time, I will check. Uh, Mergy, the, um, you have to actually join the Inside Scoop. This is a paying subscription group. Um, and it's $37 a month. Or if you want to do a bundle take, a uh, bundle membership, you can do that as well. But with the Inside Scoop, I think I did see where you requested to become a site member. But the site member is also for paying customers only. So you have to actually join the Inside Scoop for the $37 a month or either the $67 a month to get in as being a site member. But I do remember seeing the um, seeing your name come across that. When I'm trying to read and see what, if Nally said anything else about the apricot. So Miss Mergy, um, if you have any questions, you can message me and I'll try my best to kind of lead you in the direction that you need to go in. Thought you were using the golden just on the stem. Jumped ahead on you. Oh, I'm sorry. Mistake is down contouring with the color mixed. Yeah, it does. I mixed it really, really dark. So it kind of, um, I don't think it was so, just like the light brown that I think maybe everybody kind of thought it was gonna be. It was, it's all but black. I'm gonna add some more gold, but the apricot really would have been pretty. I think it were, that was a good idea. I'm gonna add some more gold to the stem. And now I'm gonna add some more of the gold coming down on this on the edges here. So yeah, Miss Mergy, I'm so sorry for the confusion with that, but I, we did get your order for the deer template. Um And I did see where you asked to join on the members, the inside site, or the site for the inside scoop. I'm gonna put a little bit more on my black here, just coming off the edges. All right, y'all, I'm gonna hold this back just a minute. I like it, Trample, can you kill it? Well, thank you, you could kill it. Y'all hear that? Thank you, Miss Marie. All right, I'm gonna hold this up just a minute just to get a good look at it. All right, so this is very, very antique -y. And if you ask me, I kind of wasted a lot of time doing all of the blending and shading because I kind of cover it up with the other stuff that I got going on here. So I'm gonna flip this around so y'all can see it. I'm gonna get it kind of close. You see how that gold is sparkling on that brown? Pretty, thank you, Natalie. Hey, Barbara. Love everything about this. Thank you, Miss Faith. This is very, like I said, very antique, very rustic. Um, you know, the buffalo plaid just screams kind of like farmhouse. So, see the gold sparks on it? And tomorrow looks 3D on the orange parts. Beautiful, thank y'all so much. Thank you, Patricia. So, tomorrow, once this is completely dry, look how it's kind of shining, y'all, that gold. So, tomorrow, on, when this dries, I'll probably take my sander and sand a lot, like, completely all the paint off of the edges to um, give it more of a, a rustic look. Okay, well, when it's back further, I can kind of still see, like, where I shaded and, like, made the section there, or I can in the camera. Thank you, Natalie. Thank you, Sharon. Heather just joined. Yay! I'm so glad that, um, that you were able to join. I would have felt bad about that being that if it was just because of the way, you know, the payments. Pretty as always. Thank you, Cole. Thank you, Miss Shirley. So, I'm not going to make a bow tonight because I know it's getting late. I still got to get in the shower and wash my booty and you know, got to get up early and get the kids off to school in the morning and then get the work done. 
I've got three stack pumpkins I got to paint tomorrow, so I've got to get those done. I was hoping I already had those shipped out, but life happens. And um, I'm going to make a bow for it later on. Like I said, I'm not going to do any more tonight on it because I know it is getting late. I know it's got to be getting at least about at least 12. Do you paint the backs? I usually paint the back black or brown. Yes, Miss Faith, I do. I actually love painting the backs. Or not really love. But I love the look of painting the backs. So I do, um, especially if I'm selling them, I make sure I paint the backs. Barbara, my, Barbara, Barbara, my husband, who is a woodworker, watched you cutting this out. He was saying how great your work is. Oh, I tell him I said thank you. Thank you, Tiny. Thank you, Mary. So, yeah, I'll, I do. Are you going to video the sanding and bow making? Gina, um, I hadn't planned on it, but I can. Oh, I forgot to do my black. Do I need to do the black around here? I think I'm just gonna leave that. I think I'm gonna leave it. If I do the black here, you know what would be really, really cute? If I did the black and white outlined just around, no, I can't because I put my stem there. Yeah, I think I'm, I think I'm done with it besides sanding it and making a bow and stuff for it. So Gina, I will see. Um, let me think. I do have to run to Florence tomorrow to figure out what all we need for our craft so I can go ahead and get all the lists done for the group. I don't think so. I think it looks great. Okay, I think I better leave it alone to Renee before I wind up like doing something to be like, ah, oh, should have just left it alone. Tiny, no black. All right, so we won't do no black. So, um, I will see. If it's not tomorrow when I do make the bow and sand it, I can do a quick live so y'all can kind of see how that's done. No problem at all. All right, ladies, I'm going to hop off of here. And like I said, if you haven't went over and joined the Inside Scoop, tonight is the last night. I would love, love to have you join. And I'm so super excited for the new ladies that went over and joined. I cannot wait for y'all to get started with us this month. What's in Florence again? Uh, Miss um, Faith, Hobby Lobby, and Lowe's, and Home Depot. Those are like my three go-to stores in Florence. I have to go there to get wood and supplies, and that's really the only places around here that I have for supplies and stuff. So, good night, Natalie. So, ladies, new insiders, I will get y'all added to the group tonight or tomorrow. I am too, Miss Faith. I'm super excited. Thank you. Can't wait to learn from you. Well, I'm so excited for you to join, Gina. So, I will see y'all tomorrow or um, or my insiders. I'm thinking I'm in my inside scoop. So, I will, might see everybody else sometime this week. And I will see all of my insiders tomorrow to welcome all of you wonderful ladies into the group. So, I will see y'all later. And don't forget, tonight is the last night. All right. Bye. That's the truth, not too much shop. That is the truth, Miss Kathy. <laughs> Bye, ladies.